The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, once said, The strong is not the one who overcomes the people by his strength, but the strong is the one who controls himself while in anger. In a world where conflicts often escalate to fighting, how can we choose a different path? How can we apply this profound insight to not just neutralize our enemies, but transform our conflicts into opportunities for peace without resorting to battle? Today, we're diving into seven Islamic ways to destroy your enemy without fighting, exploring how true strength lies in calmness and compassion rather than conflict. Let's explore these transformative strategies together. One remain silent. The teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who advised, whoever believes in Allah and the last day, let him say something good or remain silent, offer profound guidance on the power of restraint in speech. This wisdom not only serves as a moral compass, but also as a practical strategy for dealing with conflict and provocation. By choosing to remain silent instead of retaliating or speaking harshly, you actively prevent the situation from escalating. Silence in this context is not about passivity, but about choosing a response that aligns with higher principles and long-term peace. In embracing silence, you allow yourself the space to reflect and not be swept away by the heat of the moment. This pause can be crucial, giving both parties involved a chance to cool down and consider their words more carefully. Furthermore, when you refrain from responding in anger, you maintain your dignity and set a standard of conduct that others can respect and emulate. Silence can also be a powerful communicator. It sends a message that you are thoughtful and not easily provoked. Practicing silence can lead to personal growth. It teaches patience, self-control and empathy as it encourages you to think about why the other person might have acted provocatively. Understanding their perspective might reveal underlying issues that can be addressed in a more constructive manner at a more appropriate time. Silence as advised by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not just about avoiding negative speech. It's about fostering peace within oneself and in one's relationships. It shows a commitment to living a life of integrity and peace, guided by the wisdom of Islam. 2. Stay calm. When we reflect on the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we find countless examples of how he handled challenging situations with remarkable calm and wisdom. His life serves as a model for all of us. Even in the face of severe provocation, whether from the people of Taif, who pelted him with stones, or from the leaders of Quraysh who opposed him, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, consistently demonstrated an extraordinary ability to remain composed and serene. His approach teaches us that keeping calm is not just about self-control, it's about embodying the dignity and strength that comes from profound spiritual grounding. Maintaining your composure in the face of provocation can truly disarm your adversaries. It's a powerful way to defuse potential conflicts and prevent them from escalating. When others expect anger and receive patience instead, it can change the dynamic of the interaction, often leading to more positive outcomes. The Quran reinforces this wisdom by teaching us to embrace patience and calmness. For instance, Allah tells us in the Quran, and be patient, surely Allah is with those who are patient. Surah Al-Anfal 846. This assurance reminds us that our patience is not in vain, it is supported and valued by Allah, and it can lead us to victory in both worldly interactions and spiritual growth. By cultivating calmness, we not only uphold our own dignity, but also open the door to more peaceful and constructive engagements with others. 3. Speak with gentleness. In situations where silence isn't enough and words are necessary, it is crucial that we choose them with care. Speaking with gentleness is not just about lowering your voice, 
It's about choosing words that heal rather than wound. The Quran explicitly instructs us in Surah Al-Baqarah 283 and speak to people good words. This directive underscores the importance of using our speech as a tool for positive influence and peaceful interaction. When you approach conversations with kindness and gentleness, even difficult discussions can lead to constructive outcomes. Gentle words can de-escalate tensions, making it easier for both parties to hear each other's perspectives without feeling attacked. This approach is not about avoiding truth or sugarcoating reality. Rather, it's about expressing yourself in a way that respects others' dignity and encourages mutual respect. Gentle speech is especially powerful in times of conflict. It acts like water on the fire of anger and hostility. A calm and composed demeanor coupled with kind words can significantly change the emotional tone of an interaction. It has the potential to soften hearts and open doors to reconciliation that seemed firmly shut. By adopting this manner, you align yourself more closely with the prophetic example, as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was renowned for his gentle speech and kind demeanor, even in the face of harsh opposition. Speaking with gentleness is about harnessing the power of your words to foster peace and understanding. It's about making a conscious choice to contribute positively to the atmosphere around you, promoting a culture of empathy and respect. This approach not only helps mend strained relations, but also builds a foundation for stronger, more compassionate interactions in the future. 4. Ignore what they say. It's natural to feel hurt when someone says something negative about you, but reacting to every hurtful comment can drain your emotional energy and distract you from what truly matters in life. Instead, consider ignoring these remarks as a protective shield for your heart. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advised, Take what is given freely, enjoin what is good, and turn away from the ignorant. Quran 7.1999 This guidance encourages us to overlook the hurtful words of others, focusing instead on positivity and self-improvement. When you choose not to react to provocations, you're not showing weakness. Rather, you are demonstrating strength and control over your emotions. Think of it this way. Not every action deserves a reaction. Just as a wise captain does not steer his ship towards every passing wave, you do not need to engage with every negative word directed at you. By overlooking their words, you keep your focus on more positive aspects of your life, like your faith, family, and goals. This selective attention helps preserve your inner peace, enabling you to remain steady and calm, even in turbulent situations. Ignoring hurtful comments isn't just about keeping peace, it's also about setting boundaries. It sends a clear message that you value your mental well-being and choose not to let anyone disrupt it. Over time, this approach can encourage less negativity from others as they realize that their words do not have the power to affect you. In essence, by not allowing the harsh words of others to penetrate your peace of mind, you maintain control over your emotional state and continue to grow in resilience and wisdom. 5. Cut off evil with good. The principle of repelling negativity with positivity is a transformative concept in Islam, deeply rooted in compassion and resilience. The Quran offers profound guidance on this matter, advising us to confront evil actions not with retaliation, but with superior, morally uplifting responses. Specifically, Allah instructs us in Surah Fusilat, repel evil by that deed which is better, 4134. This means that when someone harms you, responds to their harshness with kindness, to their anger with patience, and to their hatred with love. This approach does more than just avoid escalation. It actively seeks to heal and improve relationships. 
Imagine someone insults you, and instead of retaliating, you choose to respond with respectful words, or perhaps you decide to remain silent, showing self-control and dignity. Such actions often surprise the aggressor and can soften their attitude, making them rethink their behavior. Over time, consistent application of this principle can break down barriers and turn hostility into friendship. Practicing this requires not just patience, but also strength and courage. It demonstrates a profound understanding of human behavior, that kindness can disarm anger and that forgiveness can close the gap between estrangement and companionship. By embodying such exemplary character, you become a beacon of moral integrity and a living example of the Islamic teachings. In doing so, you not only protect your own peace of mind, but also contribute to creating a more compassionate world. This method of dealing with conflict not only brings peace to your life, but also aligns with the divine promise that good deeds can erase bad ones, paving the way for a more harmonious existence, both in this world and in the hereafter. 6. Forgive and move on. Forgiveness is not just an act of mercy towards others. It's a profound gift you give yourself. Holding on to anger and resentment is like carrying a heavy burden that only weighs down your spirit and clouds your heart. When you choose to forgive, you effectively release this burden, freeing yourself from the chains of negative emotions that can consume your inner peace. In Islam, forgiveness is greatly emphasized as a virtuous quality that elevates one's spiritual and moral standing. Allah repeatedly highlights the importance of forgiveness in the Qur'an. For instance, it is mentioned, and let them pardon and overlook. Would you not like that Allah should forgive you? And Allah is forgiving and merciful. Surah An-Nur 2422. This verse beautifully illustrates how forgiving others invites Allah's forgiveness towards ourselves. By forgiving someone, you're not just moving past a grudge, but you are also opening up a pathway for healing and reconciliation. It demonstrates a strong character and deep faith, acknowledging that everyone makes mistakes and deserves compassion. Remember, Allah loves those who forgive, and by embodying this quality, you attract His divine mercy and favor. Moreover, forgiving others often leads to surprising transformations in relationships. It can turn animosity into friendship and conflict into cooperation. When you forgive and move on, you're not showing weakness, but rather strength and confidence in your values. You're also setting a profound example for others around you, fostering a community based on mutual respect and understanding. 7. Leave it to Allah. In times of conflict and struggle, it is essential to remember that the ultimate outcome of all our affairs lies in the hands of Allah, the Almighty. He is the best of planners, possessing perfect knowledge and wisdom that far surpass our own understanding. When you feel overwhelmed by hostility or injustice, entrusting your situation to Allah can bring immense relief and peace. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but rather a profound expression of faith in His divine judgment and timing. Surrendering to Allah means letting go of your immediate desire for retribution and acknowledging that Allah's plan is superior to any we could devise. It involves patience and steadfastness, qualities highly praised in the Quran. This trust is rooted in the belief that Allah is all-knowing and just, and that every incident in our lives serves a greater purpose which we may not immediately comprehend. By placing your grievances in Allah's hands, you free yourself from the burden of anger and resentment. You allow space in your heart for forgiveness and healing, trusting that Allah will bring about justice in the best way and at the best time possible. Whether it is through worldly means or in the hereafter, justice will be served as Allah promises, for He does not allow the wrongs of the oppressed to go unaddressed. 
This approach not only preserves your mental and emotional well-being, but also elevates your spiritual stature as you demonstrate true submission to Allah's will. It is a powerful reminder that while we cannot control every aspect of our lives, we can control how we react to situations. By choosing to leave the outcome to Allah, you embrace peace and contentment, focusing on your personal growth and leaving the rest to the divine wisdom of Allah. Destroying your enemy in Islam means overcoming the conflict with peace, patience and compassion. As Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, demonstrated through his life, these qualities lead to harmony and mutual respect. Thank you for joining us. If you found this insightful, please like, share and subscribe for more. Until next time, salam and peace be upon you.